This is the kind of the truck that we'll probably be getting. We got the key. Key to the truck. Look at the dash over it. It's so big, it's so wide. And there's this second seat and you have a lot of space in there. There is this lever. You pull it, you move it down and you move to reverse, you move it down, neutral, drive and finally you are in the drive mode. Let me tell you a story of how I became a truck driver for a day. So the story is all about moving our ghar or in English it means a house or a home. The story dates back to November of last year when we realized that our lease would expire in December. At that time, we were living in a one bedroom apartment and began searching for a two bedroom option. Luckily, we found a great one in the same apartment complex. Our move out date for our current apartment was scheduled for Sunday, December 18th. Meanwhile, our new lease was set to begin on Thursday, December 15th, giving us like a four day of overlap to move all our belongings. This time frame proved to be sufficient for our move. Okay, fast forward to December 1st week when my wife and I I got COVID. Then through the summer 11th, we both kind of recovered, but I was still testing positive. So we thought it's better to move everything ourselves. And I booked a U-Haul truck and started packing on 11th itself. And that's how it looked basically. This is a week before the move. Uh, so my plan is to pack the TV and to pack the bed. So that on the day of the move, we can actually focus on the other stuff, right? And trust me, there uh, there are a lot of things. I do kind of a pre-move uh, on Friday. The actual move happens on Saturday. On Friday, I'll take my car and transfer as much stuff as I can. And the next day is the truck. Well, one nice thing about moving houses is that you can actually get rid of the stuff that you have been holding on for no reason. So these, these boxes, they were just lying there doing nothing, just taking space. And now they're, they're gonna go. They're gonna go into the trash. So sorry. Fast forward to December 15th when we got the keys for our new home and that's what happened that day. All right, day one of the move and we are moving uh, a few of the stuff with us in the car. Okay, we are having some parking issues right now. Uh, it's, I think it's really hard for my wife to uh, park reasonably well. Okay, finally we are here. Okay, an empty house and we are in the process of making it a home. So the first object that came, actually the first object that came in was the scooter. And this is the second one. <laughs> books, books, books. We basically moved some basic stuff like chairs, monitors, books and stuff that you just saw. December 16th is where I moved a few small furniture items and finally started disintegrating my home office and also took that extra guest mattress that we had. And December 17th is when the real move happened. It was a Saturday, so the day began with a special guest paying us a visit. I think he was probably like sad to see us leaving. After having breakfast, the first thing we did was getting the truck. Hey folks, so today is the day and it's really cold right now. But the good news is that it's not raining. It is a bright sunny day, still cold. So we are right now going to get the truck. This is the kind of the truck that we'll probably be getting. Got the key. Key to the truck. There is this lever, you pull it, you move it down and you move to reverse, you move it down, neutral, drive and finally you are in the drive mode. All right, <laughs> driving truck for the first time, it's pretty, pretty fascinating I'd say. Look at the dash over it, it's so big, it's so wide. And there's this second seat and you have a lot of space in there, uh, like between both of these two seats. And back is all covered. So there are a lot of blind spots. I have no freaking idea what's behind me right now. I cannot see the back. Uh, yeah, it's a bit scary. <laughs> but yeah, that's 
that's the fun part. And it was indeed a surreal experience. So all in all, it took around three rounds with the truck to move all our stuff, like all the remaining stuff that was there. Round one. Hey folks, so round one is done and I think we took most of the stuff. Some part of the bedroom is left and another primary thing that's left is the sofa. I think apart from that, we are all good. It'll, it'll probably take two more rounds, one round for all the other stuff and the third one finally for the mattress. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Round two. Round two is almost done. Just these last two parts are remaining. Actually three, four. If you see that sofa lying in the garden right now. Uh, five, you see this ladder as well. Coconut water. Secret to our energy. That will give you some <laughs> energy. So this coconut water really helped a lot that day. Just imagine someone doing all this while they were still recovering from COVID weakness. Well, it was really exhilarating. And will I do it again? I don't know. Gosh, here we go again. Round three. So round three was finally where we moved the mattress, which was the most crucial piece to the move. Like when I say mattress, mattress in our primary bedroom. It actually took most of our effort, both during the loading and the unloading. It was really hard. I don't know how I, or how we did it. Somehow my wife also showed great strength that day. Round three. Hey folks, this is a wrap for today and almost everything is uh, moved to our new apartment. The stuff that is remaining is a few food items in the refrigerator and a few kitchen utensils which we'll probably move out tomorrow. And, uh, okay, so actually we were told by our apartment complex management that you have to clean your apartment before leaving. So our robot is doing the job right now and I'm gonna leave it with that. I hope it does a good job. Okay, yeah. Looks like it's working pretty well. As far as the purpose of this video is concerned, I think this this is something new to uh, ourselves. As an as someone who has grown up in India and moved to the US to make a new life, to make a new home, uh, this is something new. And I wanted to let you guys know as well what it feels like, how it feels like, and how you actually move houses here in the houses, apartments, or homes, whatever you want to call it, here in the US. Finally, after all that, we went to return the truck because uh, we only had it just for eight hours and all its work was already done by 6 p.m. <laughs> okay, so the shifting has been done. Uh, all the three rounds were pretty hectic. We are dead tired. Uh, I'd say especially my back is all gone. <laughs> so I have one day for one entire day to take rest, which is tomorrow, which is a Sunday. No, oh, it's a week right now. So we are in no condition to go back home and cook. Uh, so I anyhow don't cook. I'm more of a cooking assistant. That job is taken care of by my wife. And after we came home, we were welcomed by a home full of stuff. And that's how it looked. Okay, after multiple rounds for the move, this is what we have and a lot of stuff in the rooms as well. Okay, coming to the next day, December 18th 
or which was actually the last day uh, with our old apartment. In the morning, we went to get the remaining stuff and to also get some nostalgia. Or Nidhi, how are you feeling? Your last day in this apartment. I will miss this a lot. And the tennis court where you never played. Uh, but but you, you were an active audience. <laughs> an active audience. <laughs> but at least you saw every match. Yeah, I think I'll I'll miss tennis court as well. Hmm. I hope our uh, our new apartment would give us a better feel. <laughs> And then we finally went one last time to say a final goodbye. Okay, so we are back to our old apartment, like one last time. and uh it's all clean everything is done we are just here to collect one of the keys and then we'll go to the leasing office to return the keys and yeah all empty just this water bottle <laughs> So this was one hell of a week. It took around 3 4 more weeks for us to actually settle everything down in our new apartment. And by the way, I created this apartment tour of our old apartment which should be flashing on your screen right now. So please feel free to check that out as well. And if you're still here, like hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you're also about to move to a new apartment, I'd say just relax. Don't overthink it. Everything will eventually fall into place and things will be fine. Were they fine for us though? <laughs>